Well, Ron Starworth joins us live from Texas for his first UK TV interview. The man whose story is being told, in part at least, in this very successful new film. Oh, my goodness, what we can talk to you about and what you've been through. Look, take us from the beginning. How did you ever come to infiltrate yourself into the Ku Klux Klan? Well, I was sitting in my office one day and I saw an ad in the newspaper in the classified section. And it said Ku Klux Klan for information. And then there was a P.O. box, post office box. So I wrote a note to the uh, P.O. box, uh, basically using the language of hate that they talk in, and use. And uh, I uh, made reference in a derogatory manner to all the ethnic groups that uh, fall under their... Uh, uh, racial hatred purview, um, and I signed my name, my real name, which was a mistake, to the note and mailed it off. Ron, as Kate said, an extraordinary story. We'll talk about the film in a minute. Something I didn't realise until this morning was that you never physically went into the KKK. You did what we talk about, all the background work, made all the contacts, the phone calls, and got somebody else in. It must have been frightening, though, to have been that near to such a... I'm not even going to find a word to describe them, but to carry out that investigation must have been shocking, to be fair. Not really. I was a trained undercover investigator, and we don't get shocked, we don't get scared, we don't get frightened by uh, dealing with uh, uh, people such as this. It's, it's a matter of routine for us. It's our job. Um, and I orchestrated everything on the phone, obviously because of uh, my uh, blessings from God with this uh, beautiful skin color, I couldn't go into a meeting with them. So what I did was I uh, orchestrated everything, got, uh, eventually got uh, three undercover cops into the group, two from my department and one from the Denver Police Department. And uh, I was able to pull this off, and I did have physical contact with him when I was assigned uh, by my chief to be David Duke's bodyguard. And that's the grand wizard of the Ku Klux Klan, isn't it? And, in fact, I think, you know, uh, you got a photograph with him at one point, didn't you, which he was very furious Strong. about. Yes, I had a photo taken with him. I've, I've since lost that photo. But I had a photo taken with him and the... Uh, Grand Dragon, or state leader for the Colorado uh, chapter, uh, and uh, Duke on my right, the, uh, Grand Wiz the Grand Dragon on my left, and uh, on the count of three, and it's depicted in the movie, on the count of three, and I raised my arm and, he and never put him on their shoulder. And he never guessed you were the same person that he was talking to on the phone that, you know, that had conned him. No. Ron, what did your work no, achieve? No, they didn't know that they were dealing with me. What does your work achieve in your own mind? Well, we achieved a lot. Um, people often say, well, you didn't arrest anybody. You no, know, we didn't. Uh, I could have arrested all of them for uh, concealed firearm violations. At that time, you couldn't carry a gun openly like you can today. But those were misdemeanor offenses, small offenses. I wanted to go for a felony uh, where I could put people away for five years or more. Uh, what we did was we prevented three cross burnings, which are domestic acts of terrorism in this country. We prevented three cross burnings. Uh, we identified two top security personnel uh, at uh, NORAD, the North American Air Defense Command, um, and uh, they were transferred from their assignment on orders from the Pentagon once uh, I was able to bring that to their attention. We uh, learned of the uh, link between all of the white supremacist groups in Colorado uh, that they were interacting with because they came down to meetings that I had uh, set up. And uh, basically, we, we, we stopped anybody from being terrorized in the city of Colorado Springs from, for seven and a half months. Ron, you retired from the police in 2005 after 32 years service. It wasn't until 2014 you published the book, Black K Klansman, and then the film. Um, which... Wow. And I believe you still have your Ku Klux Klan membership uh, card. I don't know if you have it there. You could hold it up for us, because you must be one of very few, I'm thinking, black people that hold that 
card. And I wonder if also, while we have a look at that, yeah. you could tell us what you think, because that was back then in the 70s. What do you make of where we are with uh, negative and far right wing forces in America now? Uh, there are parallels uh, to what happened 40 years ago and um, to what uh, is going on today. The parallels are quite simple. Uh, the Klan never goes away. Uh, they fade away in the background in certain periods of time. And when the time is ripe, they come out from the shadows, from the underground, and rear their ugly heads. And that's what we're experiencing today. The time is ripe because, quite frankly, we have somebody uh, running this country who has uh, allowed them to come out from the shadows who's giving them a wink and a nod and basically said it's okay to be who you are and to express what you are. And so they're taking advantage of this. That's why they, uh, they love him. Um, the uh, parallels are, are such that, uh, I should say the differences is that uh, back in the 70s, we weren't, uh, we weren't so much worried about uh, them taking uh, to guns and everything like we do today because uh, the gun culture has uh, changed dramatically in the uh, succeeding 40 years. But back then, uh, they, were, they were around, they were uh, doing marches and terrorizing people with cross burnings and such. Uh, today, they're still doing marches, they're still terrorizing people with cross burnings, but now we have the gun culture that they all are advocates of uh, to worry about. So the fight so goes on. It's an absolutely fascinating read. I, I really Thank enjoyed reading it. Thank also you so a movie much. as well. Ron, thank you so much. Fascinating, really. Mm -hmm.